Hey there, YouTubers, and welcome back to Daniel Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. I wanted to talk to you a quick tip here. When you are running a when you're running a custom code, uh, notice last time I talked about I think this was called last row uh, when we were talking about our test one macro. Um, we would have last row to be equal to all the stuff here using the end XL up dot row. And I wanted to show you a quick tip, so I'm going to scooch all this out of the way. Um, you could use the max function with this. Um, I keep it simple. So I say, um, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and use this. If, hmm, let's see, if this workbook dot sheets my report dot cells rows dot count comma one dot blah blah blah. If that equals one, then so if there's nothing in the report, basically, let's just fill that in here. Because see, as it stands, it, when it clears everything, it's going to clear the whole report because the last row could be row one. So let's say date number t slash f, and we'll do a fail safe here. So if that if the beginning row is one, which is our late our column headers, then LR equals two. Otherwise, just let it run its normal code. Copy, paste, end if. Okay. So what this is saying is if we run our last row code in it and there's nothing here. Oops. And it runs it and it goes XL up, control up, would we'll do the same thing. It runs into row one. We don't want to say row one through whatever and then hit and clear contents because that would uh, clear it out. Control Z. We don't want to clear out our headers. Okay. So if we do that, um, then the last row, oops, LR equals this. Otherwise, LR is going to be 2. We'll automatically have it start on the second column instead of the first one for clearing out the report. Anyway, um, that way it will not overwrite your column headers. Thanks for watching.